Hey guys, what's up? It's me, Cece, and welcome back to my channel. If you are new, welcome. I hope that you would stay, subscribe, and become a part of the Fashion Cece family. Here over on my channel, I show you how to be your baddest bitch at an affordable cost, and today we are back with day five of Glamness, and I wanted to give you guys a simple matte look. Like, this is just such a good classic look i feel like it's wearable with any lip combination and yeah so our featured black owned product is the lip color once again today so if you guys are interested in seeing how i created this look keep watching i had to make sure i was recording today because we not doing a repeat of yesterday so using the jaclyn hill palette i went in with this brown shade here and I wanted to pat that into the crease. I will have the color names in the description because y'all, I don't know why the colors are different. Like they don't go in the order like directly behind the shade on the palette when you turn the actual palette around. So I'm gonna have the shades listed for you guys. But anywho, y'all know the deal. We pat the crease color and blend it out. I went in with a deeper shade of brown and I patted that on the outer corners to build up that outer third of the eye because I wanted the shadow that I was gonna place on the inner two thirds of the eye to have a good backdrop to go into. And honestly, I kind of, I don't know, like, I'm kind of feeling like I want to do a cut crease. Don't hold me to it because y'all know I like to keep it simple. But just building this look up, I'm like, wow, like, this kind of look good as is. But anywho, I went in with like this peach color to pat that all over the lid. Please forgive me because I do lower my exposure so that way you guys can get a good look at what the color actually looks like and I forgot to turn it up so that's why this scene looks not as bright as the others. So going back in with the shadows that I used before for the crease and for the outer third to pretty much carve out that eye look, I gave y'all a break. Because y'all know this is a wet and wild stand account, but I used my creamy cold liner from Huda Beauty. This is also another really good liner. The wet and wild is just more affordable and it's just as good. So y'all have another alternative. I went in with this light brown shade to blend out that liner. And clearly, let me tell y'all something. Because I feel like it needs to be said. I think that sometimes that people feel like when people do the same thing as them that they don't like other stuff i love my brand but baby i also love morphe clearly trendsetter is one of my favorite lip liners ever you hear me it's so creamy it's brown it's blendable and i'm so glad i stocked up before morphe went bankrupt and closed down our stores so yeah i keep trendsetter on me regardless for mascara, you guys know I've really been loving this Lancome mascara lately. Like, absolutely love this mascara. It gets my bottom lashes so good. And I'm going to show y'all here in just a second just how good my bottom lashes look. Oh, well, shit. The clip was too short. My bad. So, the black-owned brand that we are featuring today is Beauty For Certain. is by the rapper Bia. If you guys have not seen my LA uh, video or like my Get Ready With Me I actually got to meet Bia at BeautyCon and she handed out her liquid matte lipsticks at her stand and these are actually really good. They're pretty hydrating for them to be a matte liquid lipstick so I like it. Now this look was very simple straight to the point and I hope that you all like it. This is me getting my bangs and stuff together so that way I could get my slow-mos in or my I guess my look shots in for you guys but yeah I hope that you all love it and I will see you all tomorrow for day six for the 12 days of glamis love you guys bye